So, when you Google math puzzles from ancient times, you may not find a list without tangrams in it. Tangrams is a classical Chinese puzzle that has seven basic shapes cut out from a single square. And the challenge is to make several other figures out of only these seven shapes. Did you know that 6,500 different figures can be made using these basic shapes? Isn't that just fantastic? And the best part is, you can create this puzzle with household material that are just lying around. So, if you have a thin cardboard, for example, the packaging cardboard or some thick glossy calendar paper, then we are all set to start. Through this activity, you can engage your kids by asking them to cut these pieces out under your supervision and then to color the pieces in beautiful shades and patterns to create your own version of Tangram. I'm very sure that will pretty much hook the kids to the activity. Also, we can turn these puzzles into a challenging game by introducing a timer for each level. And the secret is, you'll generously throw learnings of basic geometry, shapes and pattern recognition into the mix without any extra effort. So let's get started. To be able to do this activity, you'll need the following things. Now, to get the seven basic shapes for the Tangram puzzle, you can check out the upcoming video bit. If you want to make it from scratch or alternatively download the printable from the description given below. Now that we have all the pieces, scatter them away. What about mixing and matching these pieces to make some more squares? So why don't you pause the video right now and work with your child and try making three sets of squares using any number of pieces from the set. Now that you know how to work around squares, are you up for the next challenge? Okay, so again, you can pause the video and try making three sets of triangles this time. Were you able to do it? Do you know any more common 2D shapes? What about rectangles? Why not try making rectangles now? I hope you had fun. So now let's up the stakes a little bit. So during the next few minutes in the video, you will be handling other shapes like a fish or a house. Before that, we shall lay some ground rules to add some entertainment to this. 
So the first rule is you have to use all the shapes to finish the puzzle. The second and most important rule is there shouldn't be any overlapping of pieces. And the third rule is try to do it in a set time limit. Initially, you can start off working on a tangram fish and tangram house to get a hang of it. So this is a silhouette of the fish. Now to solve this puzzle, the approach should be to break down the puzzle into simpler basic shapes and then try to break down those basic shapes even further into the pieces available with you. So for example, this fish can be roughly broken down into a large triangle and two equivalent trapeziums. Then you can try to figure out how to reach these simpler shapes using the seven pieces. So a larger triangle is going to require two triangles. A trapezium can be made using a parallelogram and a triangle or a square and two smaller triangles. Now try creating it using all the seven pieces. If you feel the puzzle is simple enough, you can set a smaller time limit, say seven minutes. Pause the video and try it yourself. So did you solve it on your own or with the help? Did you find it simple? Let's see how you'll fare with the tangram house. Use the same approach that we used for the fish. Break it down into simpler shapes and break those down even further to crack this puzzle. So here is the silhouette of the house. Can you fit the pieces without overlapping? Pause the video here while you try. Hope you were able to solve it by your own. If not, then here's the solution. Other than basic geometry and shapes and patterns, tangrams also help to develop imagination, visual learning and hand-to-eye coordination. It also enhances the memory power with the help of these fun-filled activities. It is best suited for kids in the age group of 7 years and above. If you want to try a few more challenges, you can find the printables in the description box below with their solutions. Happy learning!